Welcome back to our episode of Ghost Chronicles. Now this is where we're talking about women issues, things women are facing, thing I'm seeing. While my finger is on the pulse of our society, things that I'm seeing women dealing with. And what I, what I really want us to think about is female responsibility and female accountability. And what I mean by that is, the other day, I saw a post. And I had seen it a while ago, but then I seen it again. But I saw a post. Uh, of a gentleman. And he said, don't let that relationship. Y'all forgetting a little rev break? He said, don't let that phone destroy your home. And when he said that, he said, you know that man on the side. Heave over there if that woman is a good homemaker, if she's a good mother. Then let that man over there do what he's doing. He cleaning up the trash. That's what he's supposed to do. Don't let that phone destroy your home. And it broke my heart, as a woman, to see leaders. I saw Christian influencers. I saw finance influencers. I saw women who, who their message reached millions of people, put in the comments, Oh, that's great advice. Oh, that. And liking it. Just liking it when you like that kind of post. When you like that kind of post, even if you're just liking it, just because the page is asking, Hey, let's have a conversation. When you like that post, you like in that message. You liken that message. I struggled with that other day because, you know, I'm in a video where some of the clips they put in there was from the strip club and it was booty cheeks on there and I wasn't at the strip club. I had nothing to do with that, but that was part of the B-roll footage that the editor used. I was teaching a seminar, but the chick who put the seminar on, she had went to the strip club. That's part of her lifestyle. I liked the post because I was in there and she sent it to me, but I struggled with that because I didn't want nobody to think that I was liking the booty or the stripper. And that's the same type of thing what I'm talking now that's a little different, but when women are saying, yes, we agree. Uh, let us have a side man as long as we keep him in his place and we're a good mother and we're a good wife. Don't go through our phone and find out what we talking and doing with this side man if we taking care of home. Man. We. Why I want to challenge you. As as women and I and this is how I think about this. I don't have a son. But when a woman is loving a man, we loving a male. Your son is a male. Uh, so if we had to think about what messages it's sending our sons? If you have a son, if you're cheating on his father. So if you with his father, and you're cheating, do you think when your son is 15 and he understands this, is he gonna say, hey, mom, that's cool. I'd rather you be with dad and cheat on him, or is he gonna say, mom, if you and dad not a fit, I'd rather y'all be apart and both be happy and co-parent and love and treat each other with respect. Versus you being with him and asking him to shut up and to put up with you having other men. What is that? What is your son going to say? And then as a woman you have to ask yourself, okay. Do I want my son to marry a woman who keeps the house clean and makes three meals a day? But she's having sex with other men then coming home and having sex with my son? Because when you think about it, one of the men that the woman sleeps with is gonna be crazy. Just based on the statistics, one of the men gonna be crazy. And so if that man crazy, guess what? He gonna try to do something. Two. Your son. Who married to this woman with multiple men just because she is a supermodel? He gonna try to do something to you, son. Or he might try to. Mess. The woman's life up to mess her mind up. And that's gonna affect your son, too. So I think a lot of times it's women. We just thinking about ourselves. I think I got two girls and I think about this like... My daughter will be. My 15-year-old would be fire hot if she found out I was cheating on her dad. If she, even if he was cool with it, she'll be mad with him. Like, Dad, what in the world are you doing? How are you letting her sleep with other men? And then come sleep with you. My daughter get mad if you see me look at a booty. Sometimes a nice set of hounds walk by and I might catch my on accident and she'll say, Mom, what you looking at there, buddy? That's how she joke around. Mom, um, eyes look like they... I'm like, no girl, I was not looking over there. But she checked me on that. A man will come up to me and introduce himself. Hey, Grey Ghost, I follow you on YouTube. Well, I follow you on Instagram. I'm like, oh hey, great to meet you, you know, great to meet you. It's like, can I take a picture? Yeah, we can take a picture. When we leave, my daughter will be like, uh, yeah. Mom, the handshake you gave was a little too nice. She was like, oh hey, yo yeah, yeah, and go to tease me. 
and then she'll go to her daddy's like yeah this man came up and want to meet mom and mom was like oh yeah okay yeah and and so she really be making a point about that and she don't really be joking she just do it in a joking manner but she's watching that and you know how i know that's real because when i was her age i was with my mom and this hunk came out with a nice booty and i was old enough 14 15 16. i was old enough to lust after that booty and i knew that was a nice booty and when this hunk was walking towards us i was looking at my mom to see if she was going to look at him and lust my mom kept her eyes straight ahead and she did not look in that man's direction now she could have cut her eyes real quick before i started looking at her she could have but i'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt because i can't put something on her that i didn't see her do i was watching her the whole time and so I and that meant something to me. I was like, wow, my mom is faithful to my dad, even with her eyes. That made me respect my mom on a whole nother level. Because I wasn't that girl. Even as a young woman, I was a liar, I was a man-eater, I was a player. And to see my mom not even look at a man. And we women, so she could have been like, mm, that's a beautiful man, she could have been like, wow, okay, woo. Look, but you can't touch. Girl, I, you can look, but you can't touch. Now she could have did that, and I would have normalized that. I would have accepted that, and I would have been like, okay, cool, yeah, you look, can't touch, but no, she taught me a different lesson. You can't even look. And that stuck with me. So that's what I want women to think about when we think about female. Responsibility. Our responsibility is women. And it's not about our sex drive, it's not about the thing between our legs. It's really about family. It's about what are we building in this world. Like what we bring into fruition. Our lineage, our legacy. And that's also one of the benefits of marriage. That. I didn't dive too deep on when we was talking about the benefits of marriage. Like are there really any benefits of a woman marrying one of the benefits is... When you get married, when you find somebody you can marry and build a family with you now build and have economic positioning in the world because you and this man you become a unit you and your husband become a unit you become a team so now your children when they get to see and the same thing with healthy co-parenting it's not even just about marriage it's very important for women to find a balance with healthy co-parenting because now your children get to have the female perspective and the male perspective it's things that a woman provides that a man cannot provide and it's things that a man provides that a woman cannot provide so, whether it's your husband or it's your children's father, it's on us to create a healthy dynamic because the child needs that balance. The child needs both. It's gonna be days where a child says, Mom, I need to talk to you. And will talk to you about things that they will not talk to. Their father, or a man about. And it's gonna be days where a child says, Dad, I need to talk to you. And will talk to the man about things they will not talk to a woman about. Imagine when a woman has a son and the son turns 9, or 12 or 13, and now it's time for puberty to start. If he has a good relationship with a man in his life, whether that's his dad, stepdad, whatever bonus dad, he's gonna go to him. He's gonna go to him before he goes to the woman, because a lot of logically, he's gonna say, Well, my mom's body doesn't even do this, so I can't fully expect her to understand this. And that's what we have to think about. But if we're treating the man like trash and the man is broken, he's hurting, he's crying all the time. He's not going to be able to be healthy for our children. We have this responsibility. That we gotta grow, we gotta stretch. And we can't just get so caught up in our pleasure. We can't just get so caught up in our sexual needs that we let our heart dictate our head. And we just do things based on what we're feeling sexually because it makes sense to our heart to have a man on the side so that when our man is acting crazy or in his feelings or peers on we could go to that other man it makes sense sexually but it doesn't make sense logically when you think about the family unit and raising healthy children who get to see healthy examples of love in a relationship and it's something we really gotta face and be honest about so hey this month we still in the dodge challenger superstar and we're getting us a little action and just ride with me Ride with me and vibe with me and understand too. As a woman, this one of my outlets, this one of my benefits of marriage. Having a man that let me get cars that I like. And support me in then having somebody I could share and do life with. So hey, thank you so much. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Give me some topics to talk on.
And I give you my perspective as a wife and a mother. It's a lot of female voices. That's out here, but it's not a lot of wives, wives and mothers speaking. From a platform. So, I may give you my perspective, I may be real with you, this ain't about pandering to men. This ain't about the men, gentlemen, y'all respect this here space that. I'm creating for the women to talk and be honest and let's really have healthy dialogue without attacking each other and going back and forth. God bless you, we'll talk soon.